Salut Goddess, this is Biski here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Warm greetings to those who are joining us for the first time. In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can update your password. Let's say a user is logged into the application and they want to update their passwords. Yeah, you know, user can enter old password, new password, confirm password. But with KickLock, we have to send an email execution whereby you send a command say update password. So I want to show you how you can do it with Spring Boot and with an example and you can update that password. So let's get started. So in our project here, let's go to our project where we are integrating KeyClock and let's go to our service, which is KeyClock service here. Let's create a new method, a void one and with a user ID. And this one, I can call it update, update password. And it requires a user ID when you want to update your password. So this, it means a user must be authenticated here. So I can override this method. I can implement this method here. Implement this method. And it's a void. So what I can do, I want to call this one, this endpoint. And this method. And I can pass in a user ID. And I can do, let me just do this one because I want you to go step by step. So this is a user that has logged in into, into the application and you identify the user which you want to update the password. So here we just need to call this one dot execute action email and it requires list of, it, it require a list of commands that you want. So these actions so let's create a, this list of string and i can say actions equals to new array list so in our list we can add this dot add it's going to be update password this is the command that you are the action we want to send to the user and we can put this same colon here and we can pass actions here so by running this we are, will be able to update the user password so we need to call this this one so let's go to our api and let's make it a put also and let's change this to i want to change this to to update password and here it's going to be update password and you can pass a user id but you don't want to pass a user id because the, by the time we are going to call this method a user is logged in so let's say we just say principal we are integrated the spring spec security and we can say dot get name and here we just say update password and it's a void so we want to call this method because a user must be logged in so we just pass a, a token in access token and we can get the user id from the access token so let's run the application now So this is this is our endpoint. Uh, let me refresh here. I'm expecting to see a, in, a new endpoint. This is the endpoint that we just updated, and it requires anything. We just say try out, and we need to add an access token of the user that wants to update the password. So after for you, so a user must be logged in first. So this is the user that I want to update my user, and currently the password is four three two one. If I send this and I will copy the access token here up to here and I will come here and add the access token authorize and click close then I'll click execute 
and I'm expecting to get a 200 a success. You can see I get a 200. It means our logic has worked fine. You can see I get a 200. So let's wait. I'm supposed to receive an, an, e an email. So as you can see, I, has, I have received the email several minutes ago and this email is for updating the password. So I can say look safe and here I have this link to update the password. After clicking this, I can continue and I can enter my new password and my new password is going to be test81234. Test81234 and I click submit and they will just say never then if i try to log in because now the account has been updated so if i try to log in with this same user which has the previous password 4321 if i try to do this it's a invalid user credentials because i just updated the password so i say one two three four and i'll try to log in so now i get a new password so this is how you can implement change password with Spring Boot. So you can download the, the code and run this Docker Compose YAML and everything will be fine. And you can set up your email address. I have previous tutorial how to set up your email on Keyclog. So if you are new to this channel, may kindly subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new video. Salut coders.